one. How are we doing, everybody? My name is KTBG, and we are spectating the season finals. Immediately, we have Ecoflex hopping out with GZ, Teddy Bear, and Tonzo Guns. We're going to be keeping a close eye on Tonzo as well as Ecoflex. They seem to be landing mid map. It's a very strange approach. Normally, you would see a lot of players doing hot drops, as we could see ALPX is doing. As we move on to see Maximo and Black Caesar, Fung89. I'm, uh, we will be keeping a close eye on all of these teams. Moving back to Tonzo and Teddy, they are looting currently. Moving around through the buildings, and we are spectating no big deal at the moment. Him and ATT, 7 the U, and Butters grabbing some guns. It's going to be a very hectic fight, possibly moving back to- We are moving back to ATT, and he has found the underground bunker. But will he- Taking some damage, actually, as he goes underneath. And we have a knock on Bro of Gommage. Bro of Gommage has been knocked by Hallahan. Hallahan in a fight at the moment. As we move down, we can spectate a few other players. Moving across the map, we see Pang Dong all by himself in a f Oh, Pang Dong has got the knock. Nice. Juke. Uh. <laughs> Juka Stir is uh, in a room alone by himself, and Teddy and his team with Ecoflex seem to be split up. Currently spectating Teddy Bear. He moves into a building, and we move down to Ecoflex. Ecoflex is also just, uh, running around, probably looting. Looking for people. Unsure of what to do, though. We have a knock! We have a knock on Naka 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 Naka! Naka Naka goes down. VG Jade killing Kill the Marine with an up 45, and Firefly taking down Naka Naka. Firefly by himself. This does not look good, especially if ATT and Zeu push up. We have Butters moving on to Fang Kang. Fang Kang, Fang Kang, our favorite man. PK, PK Pang, as we call him. Pang uncertain of where to move. Taking some fire from Jeffrey. Taking some fire from Jeffrey. Gets the knock, Jeffrey gets the knock and a kill for his team. Pang is no longer in this competition. As we move on, we spectate Arakari, Afro, Ball Walrus, and Coca. Coca moving along nicely. And we have two others. We have Gamage and Hugganut. Hugganut safely securing his side of the building. Checking for players. Nobody seems to be around. But Arakari possibly sneaking up on Gamage. With Jankster moving up on Gamage. Gamage sees him. Will he get the knock? Taking fire from behind, possibly from Afro or Ball Walrus. Moving around the side of the building. Jenks is in trouble here. I'm not actually sure what he's doing. Hugging on, hugging on, taking big fire and getting knocked by Arakari. Oh, I'm sorry, he got knocked by Coca. Maximo moving up with the 416 as he's taking fire from damage. Arakari moving around to see if he can get an angle on Gamage. Let's see what Gamage is up to. Inside the building, he has a sticky. Spots Arakari, throws his sticky. Moves down and around, back around the side with Afro right behind him, taking shots. Gamage safely secure, moving back into his building. Gamage and Afro may be engaged in a firefight. Gamage! Ball Walrus gets the kill on Gamage with his AKM! Moving down to Firefly down the field! He is by himself! Firefly and Pang Dong! Firefly very cut off from his team as he moves up to Arakari and Koka. We move to Spectate GZ and Ecoflex and his team and see how they are doing. Teddy is doing well. Level 2 armor, level 3 backpack! With a kitted M4, this is looking nice. Pang Dong and Firefly still moving around the map. Quite near the mid. MCH by himself, the last remaining member of his team. Firefly. 
I I think that I think MC Hack may actually be disconnected. He is not moving. He is not moving, and his Arakari and the others move up on him. Things don't look too good. Chalky and Jeffrey and LHR taking a smart, smart move. Smart move. Taking high ground with their sniper rifles and M14s and... Spectating no big deal in the ZU and of course Butters. Butters with zero kills. Ball Walrus with two. Firefly with two. And all the other two. Goo Goo gets a knock on Ubu. Goo Goo gets a knock on Ubu with the Scar L. Moving back to no big deal in Butters. We see that LH is in the middle trying to pick up a care package as we spectate Nathan Cho and his partner Yang. They're moving on the very far outskirts of the circle. They need to be careful. So does Chalky. Bang! In trouble! Taking fire from AXP is no big deal. Moves in with ZU and Butters and... Wow! LH gets knocked out by no big deal. Moving back to spectate Koka and Arakari and his team. Ball Walrus, Afro, and Koka all doing well with two kills. This puts them precisely far ahead in the lead. Arakari trailing slightly behind his own team with one. And now we move up on Brandon AXP as they engage in a fight with Ecoflex. Ecoflex, Teddy, Tonzo, and GZ. Wow, th this is this is going to be dangerous. Eco taking a 2v1 approach. Taking a split mid. Taking a split mid against AXL. Wow. Can he hold the angle? He cannot. He moves back as Jeffries gets the knock on 17, the ZU. Brandon in trouble. Healing behind AXL. Spectating Brandon at the moment. He's moving around. His body armor is completely shredded. Teddy moving from the side, trying to get an angle on Brandon. Brandon moving away. Brandon moving back with AXL. Ecoflex looking for an angle. Teddy coming up as we move to spectate Chalky and LH. They are not in a good position as Nathan is just pummeling them with sniper fire. Taking shots may go down. Yang and Nathan moving down the mountain with their snipers. AXL not to, oh, AXL getting knocked. AXL getting knocked by Ecoflex. It's up to Brandon to finish a 3v1. This is a very sticky situation. Can Brandon actually clutch this? Can Brandon pull this off? Brandon moving around the very edge of the circle. With the circle closing and he is inside. Half health not looking good. Brandon possibly knocked. And he is out of the competition. Nathan Cho and Yang still securing high ground. Far above Chalky. GZ not looking too well with Ecoflex and Tonzo. Chalky looking around, entering buildings and whatnot. Ecoflex healing. You need to get out of that storm. That storm will hurt you. Black Caesar and Maximo moving around. Deciding what to do as they possibly engage with Arakari and Jeffords with Chalky. This is a very ballsy play. Very ballsy as Afro gets the knock on Jeffrey. Afro getting the knock. Taking fire. Removing behind the tree. Moving to spectate Ovo. Chalky getting a knock. Getting a knock. Coco is out. Chalky is out. Coco is still on. He's still on? Well, wow. okay. I'm making all sorts of mistakes today, but that is completely okay. Ecoflex with one, GZ with one, and VGJ shooting down at Nathan and Yang. Nathan possibly going down here. Is Nathan going down? Dodging fire. Nathan getting knocked. Nathan is knocked by Carrie. Oh my goodness. Yang is, uh, playing dead, popping a med kit. Ayatollah not looking good. Nathan is knocked. He needs... Oh, Nathan bleeding out. Black Caesar and Maximo. 
moving underneath for loot. Carry and VG taking fire from Arakari and Coco. Afro firing up the mountain. Looking for VG. Will he find him? Arakari seems to be contemplating taking shots at Carry. Whiffing a majority of them, but that's what happens in PUBG. VG. VG stuck. Stuck. Taking shots. Taking shots. Will he get knocked? Finding safe fire. Safe fire. Safe cover. Safe fire. Carries. Moving along down the side of the mountain as Gugu has great, great positioning against Afro. Black Caesar and Ovo. Teddy moving up on Maximo, possibly. Checking, checking their corners. Very smart, very smart plays. Coca moving up behind Gugu. Will he see them? And the bombs fall in around Ball Walrus as we move on to spectate Maximus. And Teddy. Healing in the storm, actually. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage. We have four kills with Afro. Three with Coca. Two with Ball Walrus. Carry with one. Goo Goo with two. Fiji Jade with one. Ball Walrus and Afro's team seem to be in the lead. Seven. They are the survivors for sure. Will they be able to clutch? Oh, Goo Goo's getting knocked by Ball Walrus, taking fire. Ayatollah over here. VG Jade moving in to spectate. Checking Afro. Arakari and Ball Walrus moving up on them. Ball Walrus taking a little bit of damage. He gets the safe, secure knock on Goo Goo Good. Goo Goo Good is out. Carries, carries getting knocked by Ball Walrus. VG Jade, it is a 1v4, 1v4, Ball Walrus. Ayatollah taking some serious shots at Arakari, but also missing them. Ball Walrus healing, VG Jade does not look good. He may be engaged in a 1v1 with Arakari very soon. Camping the side corner, deciding what to do. Arakari wisely moving back with his team as we move to spectate Black Caesar and Maximo. OVO and Fung moving down against Teddy and Tanzo. Although it seems that OVO is by himself, cut off from the rest of his team. GZ moving in with Tanzo. Now you, you see a lot of you see a lot of very strange plays. Oh, especially now with Yang. Maximo is still deep in the tunnel. Deep in the tunnel, out of zone, separated from his team. Ayatollah taking shots against Arakari and Afro. Arakari having to regroup real quick, real quick with his squad. Afro taking a lot of fire from the team up top, possibly from Maxo or Black Caesar. With Fung at top, Maximo taking fire in the storm, possibly getting knocked outside. He is safe. He is safe and popping a very smart medkit. Ball Walrus getting knocked from the team on top. He gets taken out by, oh yeah, Taco, 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 Loco, OVO. Fung moving down, moving down slowly, taking fire from Coca. Coca getting knocked. Arakari moving up. VGJ kills Coca. What is going on? Afro taking shots at VG. VG unsure of what to do. VG is taken out as Afro is taken out as well. Afro trading shots. OVO killing Afro. Arakari stuck by himself now. This is a major upset for Team 7. A major upset as OVO and Maximo and Black Caesar all have a vantage point against Arakari. Arakari stuck inside of his little hut. Unsure of what to do. They are moving back away from Arakari. Unsure if they have knocked all of his team members. Arakari moving back behind cover. Trying to find an angle on any of them. Black Caesar moving to the side. Arakari spots Black Caesar taking shots. Hit him in the back. Black Caesar on top of the mountain. What are they doing? Spectating. Young Dolph. Young Dolph. Our boy. Young Fung. PH. PH. OVO. He has fire. Taking fire from Arakari. 
Arakari wisely looting, possibly low on ammo as OVO and Maximo move down to engage. This is going to be a close range firefight, I do believe. Arakari still stuck inside the building, moving back, Black Caesar and Fung. Fung still looting the care package, greedy for anything he can get his hands on as we move down to spectate Teddy and Gonzo, taking fire from up top by Maximo and Caesar. Fung wisely moving up. Oh, he gets the knock on Yang. Tanzo getting the knock on Yang. Arakari firing against, getting hit. Big, big damage. Big damage against him by Maximo. Arakari needs to heal now with Ayatollah and Yang in a heavy firefight. Tanzo has no angle on him, but Teddy may be able to get a angle on Ayatollah. We are! Ecoflex in trouble. Ayatollah taking fire, knocking both of his opponents. Wow. Now this is smart RNG. Arakari taking... Arakari gets two kills. Killing Yang and Ayatollah, yeah, yeah! Firing against Choco Taco, Choco Taco the Loco Man! Taking shots at Arakari by, oh yeah, Loco! Maximo, Maximo laying down, laying down, suppressing fire. Possibly getting a flank on Arakari as Arakari moves down the mountain to try to secure shots at Teddy. Teddy and Tanzo getting knocked. Teddy is still in this. Tanzo is knocked. Arakari still taking shots at Loco. As Maximo moves behind the storm, will he be able to kill Arakari and move into the storm before he is knocked himself? Maximo getting Arakari out. Team 7 is out. Maximo is knocked. Teddy is knocked. Tanzo and GZ versus Fung and Loco getting a smart kill. Black Caesar is still in this with Maximo down. GZ is down. Black Caesar is still in the getting a knock on Fung inside. Inside Black Caesar. Securing the angle. Possibly getting a knock. Possibly getting a revive. They leave Tonzo stuck inside the building as the storm closes, throwing a wise grenade. He is stuck in storm. What will he do? He is also stuck by a grenade. Black Caesar getting the revive. Double knock! Oh! He is taken out by the play zone, and that will end it for us here. Team 10, Loco, Fung, Maximo, and Black Caesar have just won $5,000. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. This has been the PUBG North American Custom Finals 1 Season 1. We thank you all for tuning in. Team 10 with a major upset against Team 7. The victors have been defeated. Arakari and his team being taken out. A very strong competition has finally come to an end. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye!